Now this has to be the most eye-catching golf course I've ever been on. Not only is it surrounded by incredible views, it's also a place where sport and art collide. The man showing me round is Mark Hill, artist. Oh, that's so cool, some coming out of the woods. Yeah, yeah. Moved it around a bit for a start. It was out in the open. It looked pretty good, but it, it, it's found its permanent home here. It's quite cool. So you pick it up with tractor forks and move it. Because <laughs> what's, what's it all um, made from? It's, it's all Corten steel. So I've done loads of insects over the years, but this is it's probably the biggest one. I like how industrial it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's like a, an alien invasion of <laughs> That's right. wet of robots. Yeah. You haven't been near it for a while. He's quite cool. Very, very yeah. cool. Kids get on it and buddy get up there and shake the hell out of it. <laughs> it's kind of like those McDonald's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, the grimace <laughs> things. It's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine some some father son combos. You chuck your son up there and take a photo. Yeah, yeah. Riding the wetter. <laughs> yeah. Were the insects part of the uh, a natural progression from the environment, or is it something that you're interested in? Uh, I, yeah, I've always was interested. Over since I was young, I always wa thought I'd like to do a make some giant insects yeah. somehow, some way, and yeah, so it eventually came to fruition. Nice, yeah. dream come yeah. true. Yeah, yeah, I used to muck around with paper mache a lot when I was a kid and I'd often make big spiders and whatnot, so yeah, I just moved into a more durable material really in the steel. So what have we got here in front of us? Yes, this is uh, Paul Dibblework, you know, quite a famous New Zealand artist who does a lot of bronze casting. Um, you know, this is his take when the Khaleesi virus was released in New Zealand. He made this, so it's his comment on that. I'm yeah, not sure exactly what the lips <laughs> and all are exactly about, but I'm sure Paul could tell you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, interesting piece anyway. I was getting a kind of Narnia Mr. Oh. Tumnus kind of rabbit <laughs> version of Mr. Tumnus sort of thing uh, going on. But triumphant rabbit rabbit on the hill. Yeah. Yeah. So good spot for it, actually. Definitely. Another of my works, I, this is I, entitled Kelp. Once again, it's made of corten and stainless steel and inspired by the trees that grow on the south coast where I spend a lot of my time that the constant southwesterly wind just sculpts these trees into amazing forms. And then I also do a lot of diving in the area so you see the kelp swirling. And so I've kind of mixed, mixed the two up and, and uh, produced my vision in steel here. Uh, funnily enough, the forge steel tends to twist and turn in similar ways to these these natural things that are happening in the trees and mm. the kelp so yeah worked out well I'm very happy with this piece nice shadows too yeah yeah it does doesn't it okay like, uh, it moves across the yeah. tea here it's, uh, looks great from a distance it does it does you can see it from the clubhouse even actually especially on a foggy day it has a white background to it, it yeah yeah, quite, it changes it quite a lot. Yeah, it looks like a sort of a lonely tree. Yeah, yeah. Alone. We've left this one. one. One tree hill. Sentimental tree. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this piece is entitled Schist Strata. All drilled and held together with big steel pins through it, so it's not, not going to topple over like it looks like yeah. it might. You don't, have, you don't have any keep off the sculpture sign, so... No, you can climb are... up there if you want. Yeah, it's a tricky wee climb, though. Yeah, I'm not going to quite attempted in these <laughs> stupid shoes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Got your dancing shoes on. Yeah. Totally not golf appropriate or sculpture appropriate, but yeah, no, it's a yeah. beautiful piece. Well, it is nice, actually. Good sounds. Yeah, it sounds like a powerful wind. Yeah, we have the wild rock. Red Ridge, I think it's called by Red Ridge. Con Demopolis. He's an artist who works out of Melbourne these days. He's, he's done a few of these around. People might have seen this one in Wellington when you're coming in from the airport in the yep. um, roundabout area. 
he's got one there and he's, yeah, he's, that's a, it's a good idea. All these, and they make cool noises in the wind and all, yeah. all moves and clatters around. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite an interesting piece of kinetic work uh, made by a friend of mine, actually, Grant Williams. He's, uh, yeah, he, he's been working on these kinetic sculptures for quite a few years now. It's a nice organic form he's created here. It doesn't take much wind to move it either. Yeah, quite, quite uh, relaxing to look at, isn't it? Here we have the wolves, it's entitled The Wolves Are Coming. It's uh, the latest work here at the hills. It's incredible. It is incredible. Yeah. Uh, made by a Chinese artist. Um, Michael visited Beijing and went to the art district and these were set out in the square. And uh, he was hoping to purchase one or two of them. And uh, yes, well, they seem to have all ended up here on the golf course, which is great though. They're fantastic and a great new addition, really really something else, aren't they? It's incredible. Yeah. And they're warm as well. Yeah, the sun's warmed them up. I feel like they're alive it today. It definitely feels like they're alive. <laughs> this has got to be a really unique feature of a golf course anyway. Well, I, yeah, I, we don't think it's been done before using having a golf course and having sculpture so tied to the golf course. And the golfers come and they interact. The balls end up in, in this area. and So they're, they're forced to interact with the sculptures and it's it's quite unique. Not only do we have this amazing location, but you've also got the art, the golf. It's a, a full package, really, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah.